Please, guys, take a seat again, uh, because the next hour, it will be amazing. Uh, it will be fantastic, yes. Uh, we have two keynotes and also a panel. The first keynote um, is Bitcoin like never before with Alessandro Riedman, the co-founder of uh, Bitfinity Network. Then the second um, keynote is Andy Fajar Handika, the co-founder of Loca Mining. And then we will have as well a panel with Sam as host, and then uh, panelist Mark Cham uh, Alexander Redman from Infinity, Bob Bob Dilly, Bionic, Luz Louis, Omniti, and John Crowley from IC Lighthouse. Without further ado, let's give a round of applause to Alexander Redman, co founder of Infinity Network. Thank you. Hey guys, yeah, thanks, Xavier. Um, awesome, yeah, so hi everyone, I'm Alex uh, from Bitfinity. Um, and I'd like to talk a bit about uh, Bitfinity, the Bitfinity VM, and how we leverage chain key technology to essentially deliver a new Bitcoin experience. So what is uh, Bitfinity? It's essentially a sharded EVM network. Um, that, again, leverages chain key to expose Bitcoin taproot assets, runes, ordinals directly into the Solidity development experience. Um, and it also kind of like revolutionizes some of the cross-chain interactions that you would typically see when uh, an EVM network is interacting with uh, Bitcoin. The way that we do it is, uh, again, relying on chain key which is a system that allows us to access Bitcoin and Taproot assets in a fully decentralized way. So we don't rely on any centralized components. Yeah, so these are some of our investors. Um, so before I get into the, the technical details of uh, uh, Bitfinity and how it works, I would just like to take a step back and talk a bit about the Bitcoin ecosystem and how it's been evolved in the last uh, uh, few years. So the main two challenges that we've identified in the Bitcoin ecosystem that kind of like prevented it from really growing and taking off is uh, the first one, a uh, technical one. So building on the Bitcoin base layer remains a very challenging task. And in the last year, we've seen an explosion of interesting protocols like Runes and BRC20 and Ordinals that really gave uh, significant growth opportunities. But still, it remains the case that a lot of developers don't really understand uh, the Bitcoin development environment. They find it uh, tedious to use. Uh, it's not really Turing complete, and uh, it's just not a, a practical experience. The second issue is that most of the bridging solutions that we've seen out there are fully centralized, and they're very prone to hacks, and we've seen countless of them uh, in the last few years. So there is really skepticism about you know, is my Bitcoin safe? Um, a lot of Bitcoin maxis will say this. They will say, I have Bitcoin, but you know, can I actually trust uh, DeFi on Bitcoin? Can I move my assets to a DeFi protocol? Can I make sure that the Bitcoin is still there after I've done my swap or I've, uh, you know, borrowed something to a protocol or something along those lines? So this is really where uh, Bitfinity comes into play. Um, architecturally speaking, the Bitfinity EVM is a sharded EVM network that can scale horizontally and it's built in, on the internet computer on one of the subnets. And the way that it works is that um, it uses a threshold signing group, which is uh, quite a secure way to bridge over Bitcoin uh, to hold the private keys to the user's assets. And in this way, we're able to expose uh, Bitcoin and Taproot assets directly from the Solidity environment and developers can just essentially uh, treat it as if it was uh, ERC20 on Ethereum. Uh, they can move it around, they can move it, uh, send it to external addresses um, and do everything on chain. We're also exploring a way of decentralizing ordinals and that requires an additional component which is running a ordinals indexer directly on chain um, implemented as a canister in one of the IC subnets. 
So if we see how the uh, Bitcoin ecosystem, uh, essentially, I mean, the Bitfinite ecosystem, how it uh, helps to grow the Bitcoin ecosystem, there's three main components. The first one is the EVM, which has to be a high performance environment. It has to be competitive with uh, Solana, with Ethereum, with other uh, chains out there. And in this case, we built something that is really competitive, I'd say. It reaches up to um, 1,000 TPS, which is very much similar to Solana. Um, it has the same tooling that Ethereum does. You can connect your MetaMask to this. Uh, you can connect your Remix, uh, um, everything that is there. It's the full development experience. The second part is this uh, cross-chain um, capability. And the way that we've implemented it is through Bitfusion, which is an open source SDK that leverages Chainkey um, to allow the EVM to interact with uh, the Bitcoin assets in a fully decentralized way. Uh, we've also created a, a wallet called the, the Bitfusion wallet, uh, which allows um, interaction with EVM through RPC and also CKBTC. So you can see everything in, in one place. And the third thing is really attracting uh, developers into the ecosystem, um, you know, having them build uh, uh, Bitcoin-powered uh, DeFi apps. Uh, and this is a very new sector. It's uh, something that is just emerging. We've seen in the last six months, there has been a lot of interest. We have over 30 projects that are already deploying uh, more traditional DeFi Ethereum apps. Um, onto the uh, Bitfinity VM, which leverage Bitcoin. So it's a, it's a very novel solution, and I think in the next uh, 6 to 12 months, we'll really see how, how this enhances the, the Bitcoin ecosystem as a whole. So, yeah, just uh, summarizing uh, the Freeman components. This is the wallet that we've built, Bitfinity Wallet. It, it interacts directly with Bitcoin, so you can transfer Bitcoin, and it's fully VM compatible. So you can connect it to the Bitfinity EVM, but also to uh, a third-party EVM uh, implementation. Um, and it uses internet identity to, be able to allow the user to log in directly with Touch ID. So that's a, quite a, a neat thing. The second component is this open source bridge widget that we've built, which allows any DAP to implement directly in its user interface a capability to expose Bitcoin and to integrate it in the business logic of the app. In this case, it's a swap widget. It might be something else. It might be a video game. It might be points within that. It might be a fork of Uniswap or something along those lines. So as you can see there, um, there's a, the BTC is, is exposed through the, the Bitfinity VM. And you can directly interact with it without having to go through additional hoops of depositing it somewhere or, you know, bridging it over to a wrapped version. And the third component is the core SDK that actually allows this to happen. And uh, so far, these are the assets that we've added support for. So Bitcoin, Runes, Ordinals, ERC20, ICRC1, which is the native IC token and also BRC20. But it's supposed to be a very flexible framework. Um, we'd love to see what the community does with this. We can add support for more assets, uh, more uh, digital uh, types of uh, tokens that will come out on Bitcoin. And I think this is just very early days again. So uh, I'm expecting the Bitcoin community to like really be developing novel solutions and uh, come up with uh, new token standards. So it's very exciting to see this. So I, I'd love to show you this demo. Um, however, I think um, we can't actually press the link here. Um, so I'm just going to describe it briefly. This is a version of Uniswap v2 uh, that we forked and we've deployed to the Bitfinity EVM. And we've also modified the front end of the swapping widget to integrate um, the, the Bitfusion SDK to access Bitcoin and allow swaps from any ERC20 tw uh, token within the Bitfinity VM to Bitcoin. So essentially the same uh, clean Uniswap experience, uh, but with Bitcoin 
and you can connect a Bitcoin wallet to this uh, demo implementation. So not just MetaMask, but some of the, the new Bitcoin wallets that have come out. So thanks everyone. Uh, if you're a developer, we really encourage you to try this out. Um, it's already live. Uh, you can build an app tomorrow. We've got a lot of documentation for this. Um, these are some of the projects that, that, that are building on the Bitfinity VM right now. We've got over 30 DeFi dApps that have deployed. And we've also received a lot of grant requests as well. So we're very excited to see what, what the community comes up with. Not just DeFi, but also gaming and social fi and uh, some of the other um, interesting applications that are emerging. Thanks, thanks everyone.